Hi everyone, welcome to Geostic Park. So here I will be discussing about uh, section number 30. Students had doubt in section number 30. For that reason, uh, in some cases to some students section number 30 is not done. For that purpose I thought of coming uh, and recording a video. So that section number 30 will be uh, the you know clarified doubts in section number 30 will be clarified and to those section number 30 is not done to you here is section number 30 that is revocation of cancellation in chapter registration registration chapter no it has section number 22 to section number 30 22 is who is liable 23 is who is not liable 24 is uh, the compulsory registration 25 is procedure 26 is deemed registration 27 is CTP and RTP and section number 28 is amendment 29 is cancellation 30 is revocation of cancellation remember that section number 29 may when you are cancelling registration there can be two possibility one taxpayer applies for registration taxpayer or his legal representative legal hair they will apply for cancellation then the if proper officer deems fit to cancel that he will cancel second one was when proper officer by suomoto he will cancel your registration he will cancel the registration that is suomoto cancellation he will cancel your registration now in these two cases first case is i apply that means taxpayer you or me we will apply and registration will get cancelled and the second one is where suomoto cancellation Suomoto cancellation is happening that means the proper officer is cancelling you remember what are the situations where Suomoto cancellation happens where if you have started the business from some other places not from the registered places section number 29 subsection 2 not from the places specified or you have not done you have given the bogus invoice you have not supplied the goods only and there are many cases now you have contravened the section number 171 you have uh, not followed the rules as prescribed and you have done some anti-profitering act like this and at the same time section number 29 may there is one more point if a normal reg uh, registered person see in regular registered person there are two types one who has opted for QRMP the other one is monthly return in case if you have opted for QRMP if you have not filed the return for two consecutive periods then your registration is liable to be suspended and cancelled Section number 29 subsection 2 may again it says that if you have not opted for QRMP then you have not filed the return for 6 months continuously 6 months continuously 2 tax periods continuously 6 months then your return is not uh, your registration is suspended that also you understood and one more if you are composition dealer you have not filed the return for 3 consecutive within 3 months from the due date of filing the return See in composition dealer, GSTR 4 is applicable. Correct? No. GSTR 4. What is the due date of filing GSTR 4? After March by 30th of April, you have to file GSTR 4. If you don't file GSTR 4, 3 months grace period is there. Within 3 months, you have to file it. Otherwise, your registration is liable to be cancelled. So, this is Suomoto registration. Now, when the revocation of cancellation, revocation means you wish to take back that cancellation. So you wish, to, you wish to take back or you wish to take back the registration. You ask, request the government, 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 give me my registration back. Please give me my registration back. You are asking government to take your registration back. Now, okay. Government says that, see, there were two kinds. One is you applied and I did, regist uh, I did cancel your registration. The second one is Suomoto. I only, Suomoto me, I only cancelled your registration. These were the two cases. Now government says that if you have applied for cancellation, now you are asking for revocation. I don't give you revocation. Why? Because why? what is Adhika Prasanga? Why did you uh, cancel the registration? I don't give revocation. Apply fresh. But if I have done the cancellation, Suomoto me, if I have done the cancellation, then now I will give you the uh, you know, revocation. So that's why section number 30, subsection 1 here. Section number 30, subsection 1 says that subject to such condition as may be prescribed, any registered person whose registration is cancelled by the proper officer on his own motion 
may apply so that means suomoto may only in suomoto you can apply for revocation otherwise you not such officer for revocation of cancellation of registration in the prescribed manner within 30 days from the date of service of cancellation order within 30 days they might cancel your uh, i mean revoke it revoke your cancellation you have to apply within 30 days from the date of service of cancellation order now if you get the service the, the cancellation order if you get the cancellation order today within 30 days you have to apply for revocation revocation of cancellation provided that such period may on sufficient cause being shown and for reason to be recorded in writing be extended extended by the additional commissioner or joint commissioner as the case may be for a period not exceeding 30 days by the commissioner for the purpose for a period not exceeding 30 30 days but remember people we have already discussed this in amendment people if you are not watching amendment video please do watch amendment videos in the amendment video there is amendment in this it is not 30 days now where it is where it is it is not 30 days now it is 90 days and here it is not 30 plus 30 finally they made it as 180 days for revocation of cancellation it is 180 days here it is 90 days it's not uh, 30 days it is 90 days revocation of cancellation it is 90 days okay sir section number 30 subsection 2 the proper officer may in such manner and within such period as may be prescribed by order either revoke the cancellation of registration or reject the application so you have applied proper officer may revoke or he might reject the application provided that the application for revocation of cancellation of registration Oh my goodness, how many of the revocation of application for cancellation of can, uh, cancellation, wait, provided that application for revocation of cancellation of registration shall not be rejected unless applicant has been given opportunity of being heard. OBH has to be given. If that person gives you OBH, opportunity of being heard, only then proper officer can reject. Otherwise, proper officer cannot reject the application for revocation. Section number 30, subsection 3. Revocation of cancellation of registration under the State Goods and Service Tax Act or Union Territory Goods and Service Tax Act as the case may be, shall be deemed to be revocation of cancellation of registration under this act. Very simple, deemed section it is. If your revocation has happened, if your revocation has happened, under SGST, it is deemed to be has happened in this act. Which act, sir? CGST Act. Under CGST also. Now, there are some notes on revocation. Remember, don't forget this. Where the registration of person is cancelled suomoto by proper officer, such registered person may apply for revocation of cancellation to the proper officer within 90 days. Amendments may, it has given as 90 days from the date of service of order of cancellation of registration said period of 90 days may on sufficient cause being shown by the reason to be recorded in writing extended for a period of 180 days not 30 days 180 days by any commissioner additional commissioner joint commissioner commissioner completely so this you have to cut it by commissioner any commissioner it can be increased to 180 days next one if the proper officer is satisfied that there are sufficient ground for revocation of cancellation, he may revoke the cancellation of registration by an order. This is within 30 days. This is same within 30 days of receipt of application. So, for revocation, if the registration has been cancelled for revocation within 30 days, remember within 30 days you had to apply, but now it has changed to 90 days within 90 days and extension can be given for other 180 days by the commissioner correct no otherwise uh, after application which is received by if application is received by the proper officer within next 30 days that has not increased within next 30 days he will reject or he will give the communication of revocation otherwise he may reject the revocation of application however before rejecting he has to first issue show cause notice to the applicant who shall furnish the clarification within seven working days. He has to give the 
show cause notice within seven working days applicant has to reply the proper officer shall dispose the application except reject the same within 30 days of receipt of the clarification within 30 days of the clarification he has to reply okay sir where the registration was cancelled for failure of registered person to furnish the returns remember section number 29 that's why i revised that section first so if you don't apply uh, sorry if you don't file the return for two consecutive period if you are regular registered person and qrmp scheme if you are regular registered person and non qrmp scheme then six months consecutive six months can if you have not filed the return then your registration will will be cancelled next one if you are composition guy then you have not filed the return within three months from the due date of filing the return that is 30th of april within next three months if you have not filed the return then your registration is liable to be cancelled okay on that basis if your registration has been cancelled then the proper officer did the first file that return first to file that return later apply for revocation you cannot apply without filing that return so returns before applying for revocation the person has to make good the defaults whatever the defaults which are there first uh, pay that default and apply for revocation in a sense the person need to file such returns and pay any amount due as tax along with any amount payable towards the interest penalty late fee in respect of the said returns so this is the point which is there with that there are some special notes what is the special note where the registration has been cancelled with effect from the date of order of cancellation of registration sometimes they will give you registration order i mean cancellation order it is given here on 7th of 7 7th of july order is given from that date your registration has been cancelled cancelled person applying for revocation of cancellation has to furnish all returns due till the date of such cancellation before application of revocation till the date of cancellation no first you have to apply so i mean file the return till the date of order of cancellation any return that you have not filed no first file it before applying for revocation application for revocation can be filed and has to pay any amount due as tax in terms of such return along with any amount payable towards the interest penalty or late fee payable in respect, in respect of said return however since the portal does not allow to furnish the returns for the period after the date of cancellation of registration all returns due for the period from the date of order of cancellation or till date of order of revocation of the cancellation the registration have to be furnished have to be furnished within a period of 30 days from the date of order of revocation i am sure that you understood nothing but i'll tell you listen listen to me carefully people 100 200 percent attention here okay now see you your business was going smoothly your business was going smoothly this is 1st of April, 1st of April, year has started sir, 1st of April 23, year did start. Suddenly on 7th of July, on 7th of July, you got order, direct order, cancelled. Your registration has been cancelled because you have not filed the return. You have not filed the return for past 6 months, 6 months, April, May, June, July, August, September. Huh? Oh, sorry ah, no. january february march april may june for six months you have not filed the return hey you you have not filed the return for six months so that we will cancel your registration order cancellation order has come now what is ayyo deva you have not filed your return now what to do sir okay government says till the date when your registration was proper no i'll give you a chance you can file the return even after cancellation no for the period there is one uh, uh, provision till the date of cancellation till the date of cancellation whatever the return which were pending no you can file it even after the order even after the order you can file the return here for which month for all these periods no you can file the return here 
but revocation within 180 days you have to apply for revocation you have applied for revocation within 180 days sir you paid all this amount here and you applied for uh, revocation and you got the order of revocation on 5th of January 5th of January you got the order for revocation chalo you can uh, you know revoke you can revoke the order we have revoked your uh, cancellation now so you have done some sales here no you have done some sales here correct so for this sales don't you think you have to file the return don't you think you have to file the return yes sir but for this period no for this period sir i was not registered person sir for this period i was not registered person sir what to do sir i was not registered person for this period see sales has happened but i was not registered person for this period what to do now what to do so government said for this purpose the government said okay you are not allowed to you are not registered person at the same time you are not allowed to file the returns but once you get the order within next 30 days within next 30 days 30 days file all the return here within next 30 days you have to file all the return from the date of revocation i'll revoke but first thing that you have to do is you have to file all your return as soon as possible you have to file all your return is that okay yes so this is about the paragraph which is given there see i'll explain again listen to me carefully so this was your business okay your business was running smoothly but you have not filed the return because of which suddenly you got one order till here you have not filed the return no till here you have not filed the return order of cancellation cancelled cancellation order of cancellation came but still you are doing the business after that now okay you came to know that okay i did not file the return i forgot to file the return for six months what kind of moya moya it was okay now here i did not file the return so i got the order of cancellation okay i'll apply here i apply for cancellation but government said before application hey you before applying till the date of order of cancellation whatever the returns which were pending no whatever the returns which were pending till the date of uh, cancellation till the date of cancellation whatever the returns which were pending no first file that till the date of cancellation order of cancellation whatever the returns were pending first file that and later you apply okay he said okay i will file first later i'll apply sir later he applied now after application here you got the order order of revocation but government says that hey i will give you revocation order i will revoke but for all these days no you have done the sales or not that means you have to file the return from the order of cancellation till the date of order of revocation whatever the returns are pending that you have to file within 30 days 30 days from the date of revocation again from the date of order of cancellation till the date of revocation of cancellation since uh, see all the returns due for the period from the date of order of cancellation till the date of order of revocation of cancellation of registration have to be furnished within a period of 30 days from the date of order of revocation from the date of order of revocation from here this is the date of order of revocation all these things now within 30 days you have to file the return for this this period for this period you have to file it here but for this period ka return no you have to file before applying that is given in that paragraph paragraph as simple as that very simple one Example, registration of Naman Associates was cancelled by the proper officer by an order dated 1st June for its failure to furnish the returns. 1st June, order of cancellation. 
now the registration was cancelled with effect from 1st june itself 1st june only it applied for revocation of cancellation of registration and the order of revocation of cancellation of naman associate is passed on 31st of july revocation was on 31st of july 1st june for june month july month you have done the sales no you have done the sales in this case naman associate shall be required to furnish all the returns for the period from 1st june to 31st july within a period of 30 days from 31st july that means date of revocation of cancellation in a sense by 30th of august so that is about revocation of cancellation that was that which was there so that is about revocation of cancellation now here if you see this part see date from which returns not furnished till the date of cancellation of registration whatever you have not filed no from not filing till the date of cancellation order of cancellation this returns you have to file it before applying for cancel revocation of cancellation before applying for revocation of cancellation what you have to do you have to file the return returns for this period to be filed within 30 days of the order of revocation of cancellation which period from the date of cancellation till the date of revocation for this period if you have done any sales that you have to file within 30 days of the order of revocation of cancellation i hope this is clear 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 with this no yes or no yes so that is about revocation of cancellation some special notes are there one more special note sir where the registration has been cancelled with retrospective effect so it is not possible to furnish the return before filing the application for revocation of the cancellation of registration correct no yeah here again where registration see earlier point was that special note may first point was that the order of cancellation has come that was effective from that day itself that day itself prospective effect it was but in this point this is retrospectively your registration order has come on 1st of june and they say that your registration has been cancelled from 1st of may may june may 1st june you got the uh, order but they say that your registration has been cancelled from 30 uh, 1st of may 1st of may itself so it is not possible to furnish the return before filing the application for revocation of cancellation of registration you are not it is not possible in this case the application for revocation of cancellation of registration is allowed to be filed subject to the condition that all returns relating to the period from the effective date of cancellation of registration till the date of order of revocation of cancel of registration shall be filed within 30 days from the date of order of such revocation of cancellation of registration see best one is read this example you will understand it better the registration of naman associates was cancelled by the proper officer 1st june for its failure to furnish the returns the registration was cancelled with effect from 1st january so January, February, March, April, May, June. January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay. So, till May, sorry, 5 months. 1st January itself, it applied for revocation of cancellation of registration and the order of revocation of cancellation of Naman Associate is passed on 31st of July. Revocation came on 31st of July. In this case, Naman Associate shall be required to furnish all the returns for the period from 1st January to 31st July within a period of 30 days from the 31st July that is 30, 30th of August. So here listen to me again in this example no we will take for this example see this is prospective effect no again here your business was running smoothly you got one order in this or earlier in the last example order this was prospectively cancelled that means here your registration was there so you can file your application if you are applying then first first file the returns for these months first file the returns for these this period first file the uh, returns and later apply 
once you get the order order of revocation order of revocation this is order of cancellation within next 30 days file the return for this period from here to here this period ka you have to file it within 30 days correct that was earlier now now the example is this one listen you got the order order of cancellation retrospective retrospective from here only that means for whole period you are not registered if you want to apply apply they cannot tell you first file the return why because here also you are not registered for this period also you are not registered no that's why government says wait for order of revocation order of revocation once you get the order of revocation for whole period no for whole period till the order whatever the return is pending no that you will file it within 30 days whole period for whole period from where the re, uh, cancellation has happened till the date of uh, revocation of order of revocation of cancellation for whole period you pay it after that 30 days within 30 days from the date of order so this is given in this diagram also see return for this period for all this period see date from which returns are furnished which are not furnished date of cancellation of registration date of revocation for whole period no you have to pay it after uh, after date of order but within 30 days within 30 days this is about revocation of cancellation this is about revocation of cancellation i hope people you understood yes understood no is there any doubt if there is any doubt put this in the comment box so open question bank answer so this is section number 30 i hope this was pending uh, to some of the students this was pending and some students had doubt also with the amendment i have covered section number 30 i hope you understood people thank you so much we will meet in next video with some revisional videos revisional videos and exemptions okay until then keep studying keep growing thank you so much people love you all miss you all bye hail gst